Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we draw the polar equation r equals a sine 2 theta. Now a is a positive constant and we know that r has got to be positive. Sine of any angle will go between minus 1 and 1. Now it's only going to be positive from, in other words, 0 to 1 when the angle lies between naught and pi radians. So therefore, for starters, we've got that 2 theta must lie between naught and pi radians inclusive. And if we divide through by 2 here, we end up with 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Then we get 2 theta divided by 2 is theta. And then we get less than or equal to pi divided by 2, pi over 2 radians. So theta must lie between 0 and pi upon 2 radians inclusive. But we know that the value of theta has got to go all the way around here through to 2 pi radians. So therefore we can go outside of our range. We know that we'd still get positive values for sine 2 theta if 2 theta lie in the range of 2 pi to 3 pi radians. So dividing throughout by 2 here gives us that theta can also lie between pi and 3 pi over 2 radians. And this now is in our range in this area here. So we've got two sets of values for theta that we can take. Let's just divide those off like that, OK? So we need to build up some tables for these. So if we build up one table for angles of theta going from 0 to pi upon 2, and I've taken pi upon 6, pi upon 4, pi upon 3 as intermediate values. And if we take for this interval here, pi to 3 pi upon 2, we draw up another table. I've taken pi, 7 pi upon 6, 5 pi upon 4, 4 pi upon 3, and 3 pi upon 2. Now if you put these values through the equation here, then you get the following values for r. Now if we let theta go from 0 to pi upon 2 radians, in other words, we're in this section here. Let's just trace that curve out. So hopefully you can see that when theta equals pi upon 6, r is roughly 0.87a. So that's that point, say, about there. And the same with theta equaling pi upon 3 radians, r is equal to 0.87a about that point there. Now what about the last set of values for theta between pi and 3 pi upon 2? That's going to be in this section here, in this quadrant. Well if we plot that, so what we get now is another loop identical to this loop, only reflected back across this line here. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea anyway on how we go about sketching something like this. Notice then how we always have to set our range of values for theta so that we create R as a positive value.